Hello scholars, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing short division. Alright, so I did a video on long division. If that's the one you want, go to that video. And if you want to know how to do short division, this is where you should be. So, we're going to be dividing 369 by 4. Right? So, it's good when we're able to do you know, different operations using different methods. So some persons prefer long division. I personally prefer long division because it shows you step by step all the different operations that are involved, right? Because you actually have to be doing division, a little bit of multiplication, a little bit of subtraction, and so on. But it's good when you're able to do short division as well. So we say four can go into three, 4 goes into 36 9 times with no remainder. It goes into 36 exactly 9 times. 4 goes into 9 2 times. 2 4s two are 8, so there's a remainder of 1. So 4 goes into 369, 92 times remainder 1. We can write it just like this, or we can say 92 remainder 1. Put it back over the divisor. 92 and a quarter. 283 divided by 6. So 6 can't go into 2. 6 goes into 28 4 times because 4 sixes are 24. So out of the 28, if we take 24, 4 is left. Four. So we carry the 4 here, carry it over to the 1s, so that's 43. And 6 into 43 goes 7 times remainder 1 and we can write that as 47 and 1 over 6. 900 divided by 5. 5 goes into 9 one time remainder 4. Okay, One time remainder 4 we put the 4 here. 5 goes into 48 times no remainder. 5 goes into 0 0 times. So, 180 flat, no remainder. 762 divided by 10. So, 10 can't go into 7. 10 goes into 76. 7 times remainder 6. Put the remainder as a small number to the left of the other place. And now this becomes 62. So 10 goes into 62, 6 times remainder 2, or 76 and 2 over 10, which can be reduced to 1 fifth. 76 and 1 fifth. Okay, so we're here. So we're dividing 387 by 20. 20 is a very easy number to divide by or the, to multiply by. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Just remember your two times table and keep adding a zero, right? So 20 into 30, if we can just get 120 because 20 times 1 is 20. So 18 are left. So 20 into 187. So remember, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. That's 9 times, and 7 would be left from the 187. So that's 19 times remainder 7 over 20. See? Pretty simple. So let's do the last two. We have... 2,931 divided by 23, okay? So 23 into 2, we can't. 23 into 29, clearly only one time. You can subtract at the side if you want. So 6 are left back. We put the 6 there. 23 into 63. That sounds like it can go two or three times, right? So let's try. 23, let's try. 
2, that would give 236, 46. And if we add in another 23, it's going to go over 60. So it's 2 times how many are left. If we take 46 from 63, so that's 17 left. Right? 17 remain. And so we say, okay, 23 into 171. For much of division, sometimes you have to do some rounding off in your head. So you know, all right, so we knew, we knew that 2 times 23, that's 46. If we double that, that's 92. So 4 for the 92. And this is 171. So let's say we can probably get another... Three, so let's try seven. Sometimes you have to do it this way, trial and error. Seven three is twenty one. Seven two is fourteen and two is sixteen. So one sixty one. So it's seven times remainder ten. As you do division more and more, you're you're going to get better and better at it, and you're going to be able to round things up, and you're going to find that some of the timetables you you just automatically know, right? For example, the 15 times is pretty easy, the 20 times, 25 times, 50 times, 10, well, everybody knows it 10 times, and so on. As well as just estimate, all right, since you know four 25s are in 100. So if the number is close to 25, you can round off in your head to say, okay, well, maybe it's going to be four or five thereabouts. And then you can go to the side and try multiplying it to see how close you get. If you pass it, then you know it's the one before. It's the number before. That kind of thing, right? So much of it boils down to trial and error, experience, and the skill that you develop from practice, practice, practice. All right, so let's do the last one. So we have... 7,164 divided by 14. All right, so we're rounding off 14. We know there's one 14 in 20, 2 in 30. So that's going to be 4 in 60. So 71. So let's try 5 and see. Let's try 5. 5, 4 is 20, 5, 1 is 5, and 2 is 7. See, we came pretty close. So it's 5 times, and 1 remain. And 14 into 16 goes 1 time remain, or 2. 14 into 24, you can only get 1 14 from 24, and 10 remain. Right? The more you practice, you're going to get so good at this, you're just going to be able to reel them out. I promise you. But with math, you have to commit yourself to practice, practice, practice. Study your timetables. Keep studying your basic arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, right? And my preference is long division, but this is the short division. So you divide, break the quotient into bits into manageable bits, right? So you don't have to be thinking, oh my God, 369. How many fours are gonna be in 369? You don't have to do that. Break it up into bits. Divide 300 first, because remember that's 300. That's 10, six tens and so on. So what we're basically doing, it can't go into the three, so we will just go to the next one. How many times does it go into the 36? And then the remainder, if we get a remainder, we put it as a small number to the top left of the next place. And we go step by step and divide. So you don't have to be, be overwhelmed by this great big number. Break it up into smaller parts, right? And you will be fine. And if it means you have to estimate and try a number and see how close you get, and then from there, you'll see if you need to go back or you need to add another one or two to get closer to the number you want. Do that. Don't be afraid to go to the side and try some multiplication. But try to round off in your head first so that you come as close to the actual number as possible. 
do a quick estimate in your head to say, okay, what's the best number to try? And try that, or you can keep adding the number to see how close you get to what you're, the, you're the, um, aiming to, to get. Keep adding them, and then count how many times you needed to add to get to that. Go to the side and work out what you need to work out. Alright, so if you have been helped by this video, which I hope you have been, just drop a line in the comments to say thank you, miss, and share the video so other students can benefit from the information. And just let me know if you want me to do a video on a particular topic that you're struggling with or you just need some clarification on. I'll gladly do that for you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel now. My scholars, I'll see you in the next video.